How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going diving. Me, Kamu, and Denver, we just decided on an impulse that we're gonna shoot it out all the way to the opposite side of the island, so all the way to Kona side, try and find a random nice spot and try and pick up some kole. We're not gonna have a lot of time. And also I'm kind of sick, so this sign is right here. I don't know how deep I can go. I doubt I can go deeper than maybe 40 feet, maybe 50 if I really push it. But because this sign is right here is swollen, it would, you know, I think that when I go out, I'm gonna have some trouble equalizing right here. Normally I don't have to equalize, but when I'm sick, I need to clear this spot right here and it gets harder and harder the deeper I go. And I don't wanna blow this sinus out because I've done that before as well when I was diving and I was a little bit sick. So not gonna go super deep and also we don't have a lot of time. So we're just gonna bring out the three prongs and try and grab some kole, pachis, you know, whatever we can get with a three prong in the shallow water. And yeah, hopefully we get lucky and slab some fish, but I'll see you guys in the water. Shoots everybody. All right guys, so as soon as I jumped in the water, I was seeing a bunch of coles around. So I get down to the bottom here, real shallow. This is probably around 15 feet, 20 feet, something like that. And as you can see, there's a group of kole in the distance there, but I'm looking around because I actually dropped because I saw some big, uh, big king kole. So I was looking for those, but I guess they swam away while I was making my drop. So I start creeping my way over to these to these regular kole. I'm trying to pick out the biggest one out of the group. The other two were kind of small. Two or three were kind of small, but that one was a good size, so I line up, take my shot. And this was the first fish of the day. First of many. All right guys, so here's another drop, another kole. Once again, this is in the same area. This is right in front of where we jumped in. So real close to shore, but there's this big, big rock here. And once again, I saw some king kole, but once again, I get down to the bottom and there are nowhere to be found, but I saw some good sized regular kole cruising in, the, in between these rocks here. Trying to look to see if there's anything underneath this rock, but no more nothing, so I start creeping up, trying to get close to this good sized kole over here. And it comes down, so I line up. Waiting for him to get a little bit closer. Give me a little bit of a better shot. And boom. Second kole down. After this, I was mostly shooting at King Kole. So here's another drop. And as we moved away from where we had initially jumped in, we I started to see, or sorry, we started to see a lot more King Kole than regular Kole. So on this drop, you can kind of see, I made a video on King Kole's before, but I see this big Roy and I, I was gonna shoot him because it's always good to get him out and he just happened to be right in front of me when I made my drop, but I didn't really have a good shot on him. He kept kind of getting back into this rock, so I lost him, but this King Kole comes down and I stick him. So I made a couple videos, like I said, on King Kole before, but you can tell the difference because well, one, obviously, King Kole, they don't have that golden ring around their eye. They also have these weird fins that set them apart from, like, the weird surgeon fish that we usually don't eat. And they're also kind of, they look solid black in the water. And they get quite a bit bigger than the regular Kole. Um, they can get to, like, or I would say, like, a good 
medium sized Polani around that size. And because I took that drop, I actually missed it, but Kamu, you can see him gesturing to me that he actually shot a Kole. So that was his first fish that he's ever shot. So congrats to him. It's a good size one too. So if you guys remember my last video that I made about King Kole when I went with Kamu in Denver again, you guys remember probably remember me saying it was kind of a struggle because the King Kole there, they were few and far between, not that many of them around, and the ones that were around, they were pretty, pretty skittish. So over here, it was nice because there was a lot more of them around, so a lot more targets to shoot at, and also they were a lot calmer. They were a lot more more curious, more inclined to let you get close. So, but on this drop, I saw the Roy again, the same one that I lost in the last drop. And so I line up on him, this time he gives me a shot and I get him right in the head. And he wasn't getting anywhere. This ski prong, it, if you guys also remember, I mentioned this before, was gifted to me by, uh, by a local guy here in Big Island who makes these fully carbon three prongs and i gotta say i'm loving this thing it's super fast super powerful you no know, i i think that evolve three prongs the ones that i usually use they're they're good too just for different purposes like i would use one of those three prongs to maybe take down something something huge but small game like this the ski prong is awesome because it's so fast and smaller fish tend to be faster the evolved three prong can be a little bit slow i mean obviously if you put a stronger rubber on there it'll it'll be faster but at the same time if you put a a stronger rubber on there you're gonna your hand's gonna start to get sore you know you're gonna start to cramp right in that the uh that space between your thumb and your index finger and so eventually you're gonna get tired and when you're going for numbers like for kole like at, that, like we were today. It's it's better to to have a lighter rubber because you don't need a super strong rubber to shoot kole. But here we go. I saw those two Moanakali over there, but they were kind of small. So even though they came close enough, I I didn't want to shoot one of those. So I'm just waiting for the king kole to get close. You can see some of them there, and you can tell the difference between them and the other weird surgeon fish that are around. I nailed this one. This one was pretty big. This was, was one of the bigger ones of the day. But they get bigger than this too. They, they're they like, like I said, medium Palani size. Like the size of a dinner plate, something like that. They get pretty big. All right, so once again, going for more King Kole. Actually, I started to try and target some other fish and because because of that i went a little bit deeper this is probably around 40 feet here but i did see some king kole going in and out of this this boulder so i figured i can drop down here and if i don't see anything else i can pick up a, a king kole and so i don't waste the drop you can see them over there and even though i wanted to target other things this this one came super close and so it was kind of like hard to resist so i just shot that one and this clip it really shows <laughs> me me kind of cooking it here but i take this this kole that i shot i pull it off just like i would usually do and then i try and go for another one and a big one comes out here so i line up kind of swims away then he comes back around i line up take my shot but he rips off and then I lose the other one that was in my hand. You can't see it, but he swam out of my hand. So really kind of messing up here, but I actually did get redemption a little bit later on. So this is a drop on that same boulder where I just lost those two King Kole. But I'm coming at, I'm coming at it from a little bit of a different angle here. This is the other side of the, the boulder. And I could still see there was still a bunch of King Kole in this rock. Of course, they were a little bit more scared, so they weren't coming out as much because, you know, I just shot two of their friends. But I could see them inside the rock. 
So I'm kind of just waiting for one to give me a shot. You can see them come out a little bit there, but you can tell they're a little bit more skittish, but I could see them in the rock. So I was just focusing on, on the whites of their mouth because it's super hard to see them when they're in the dark because they're black, but you can see their mouth is kind of white. So that's what I was kind of aiming at. So I line up here and I take a shot at the white that I saw, maybe a little bit behind it, just so I would, you know, hit a better shot. And sure enough, I got one a little bit behind the mouth, right by his eyeball. And this one was also pretty big. This one was one of the bigger ones of the day. You can tell there, it's a good size one. So once again, one more time on the same rock and just going down. Just kind of looking around to see where, you know, maybe if they were coming out so I could get an idea of what part of the rock they were hiding underneath. And I decide on this part right here. And you can see in the distance there, there's a there's a hage just eating uh, the kole that I ripped or the one that swam out of my hand. He's just eating it. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll shoot one of the kole underneath this rock and then I'll go grab that one that I lost. So kind of waiting and I see a king kole come in from under the rock and I stick him. And then after that, I just swim over and the king kole that I shot earlier was dead. So I just grabbed him and I got my redemption. So not fully cooking it, just just a little bit, small kind cook, but there we go. Got my kole back. So on this drop, I found a rock that had a bunch of space underneath. And in addition to having king kole, there was a bunch of pachis underneath here. So I, I decided I already had a bunch of a bunch of kole. So decided to take a pachi instead. And I'm kind of grunting here. And for some reason, I think it's because when you lay down next to a rock that has pachis underneath and you listen, you can hear them grunting, like they make that noise. So I think that when you grunt, it makes them curious. They think there's more pachis around. They go and check it out. So if you're ever trying to shoot pachis, but they're being too skittish or they're too deep in the hole, try just grunting and they'll kind of come out and look at you. So I found this nice looking coral head here. There was a bunch of fish around it. And I saw a nice munu around here as well, but I don't know where he went or I didn't know where he went when I landed, but you can see there's a bunch of regular kole. But I mentioned before that I think, I don't know if to me, king kole, they taste better than the regular ones, but I could just be, you know, tripping or something. But just in my opinion, that big moray comes down, but I line up on this pachi and I was gonna try and double up on a kole until I saw that, that, uh, that eel go down and, right next to me and I, I you guys remember I've been bit before so was not planning on sticking around down there so another drop on the same coral head and like I said there's a bunch of fish I'm kind of trying to stay away from that rock where uh, that puhi went down so I'm looking over on this side because I saw more fish on that rock as well on my left that I was just looking at and the moon who came back and was also around that rock so I'm kind of looking to see if he's still around but once again he's gone so I turn my attention back to the coral head staying away from the rock where the puhi just went into and I'm looking trying to see if any good sized pachis are around but they're all a little bit on the smaller side then I turn back to my left and I see those Opelukala. So I thought that was kind of weird. And I look back again and I see the, uh, the Munu come out of that rock. So I focus my attention on that Munu. And he starts coming around. I line up. It comes close enough. So I take my shot. Boom. 
Got him right in the right in a good holding shot spot by the gill plate. And got this good sized mono. So I think this was my last fish of the day. Good way to end the dive. Right, guys that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed super fun dive kind of crazy gunning it out to kona right after class we only dove for a couple hours because you know by the time we got there it took us like two hours hour and a half to get to the actual spot and then by the time we got in the water it was only a couple hours before sunset so didn't have that much time to dive but we still got a solid haul got a bunch of kole and some other you know pachis and the the munu that was a nice you know little little bonus as well so super fun dive and super awesome adventure but yeah remember if you guys like the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button it really helps me out a lot and i really do appreciate every single one of you but that's all i got for you guys today and i'll see you in the next one shoots everybody